What's going on, guys? It's going to be a uh, Black November unboxing, Black Friday unboxing, whatever, for uh, Shop TNA. So now that I've said that, let's see how many people actually stay and watch the video. Um, so yeah, I, I was uh, I already ripped open the box just for you know just to save a little bit more time. Um, I was going to place two orders originally, actually one big order, and then I changed it to two orders. One was going to be consisting of DVDs that I really wanted last year that I placed an order for and then they sold out by the time they had to ship my order and then I was gonna place a second order with basically every D, uh, every pay-per-view DVD that they had on sale that I didn't have um, and that time when I was like okay I'm gonna wait to place a second order and um, because I had all my DVDs stashed out um, from when we got you know we got the inside of my house uh, we got new carpet and painting and stuff like that and I had to pretty much empty out my room and I had to put away my DVD so I didn't remember which TNA DVDs I bought so I placed the uh, second order I said I would place a second order once I see which DVDs I have to make sure I don't get doubles in the time that I did that I kind of put everything else into perspective um, I have a Vegas trip coming up next month. I have Christmas presents I gotta buy later this month. Um, I, some other stuff I kind of want to buy for the living room. And <laughs> TNA DVDs are not that high on my priority, you know, anymore. Um, once I started thinking about that, so I'm like, I, it's just better to you know have extra money. You don't never want to um, you know just get by, so to speak. I'm always someone that I like to have money on the side. Um, so yeah, I don't want to place that second order anymore. So maybe next year. Uh, I don't think they'll go, out, they'll go out of business. I think someone will buy them out and do something, if anything. I don't think they'll go out of business. But, um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Each DVD was about $4 each. So, definitely not bad at all. Uh, first, we got Bound for Glory 2011. Um, I've seen very little of this show. I think I've seen the opener. Uh, Brian Kendrick and Austin Aries. Um, the uh, Hulk Hogan versus... Uh, Sting match, Kurt Angle and Bobby Roode, I've seen that, it was a cool moment when uh, Hogan hooked up, and the crowd went nuts for that, I wasn't a fan of them having the match to begin with, but, you know, $4, not bad, uh, ooh, this one I wanted last year, and they sold out, so now I really wanted to make sure I got it this year, Global Impact Japan, um, as uh, Stevie Breach kindly uh, was talking about the other day, this is the show that uh, Giant Bernard, aka um, Tenzai, messed up, and it cost him a, a job in TNA. But uh, besides that, it's uh, a show I've been wanting to watch for a long time. So yeah, I know it's on YouTube, but I want it on DVD. Uh, TNA Ultimate Matches, two disc set. Don't know what else to say about that. Um, I don't remember which some of these are about. Oh, this one I, I wanted last year as well. World X Cup 2008. This should be fun. And as you can tell, I'm just kind of going through these. The history of TNA Year One. I think everybody has this DVD, um, or at least at one point had it. And oh wow, well, Scott Hall's there. Dunn West is there. Our Truth, Jerry Lynn is in here twice. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, America's Most Wanted. This is something I'm actually pretty excited about because I didn't get to see that many of these guys' matches when they were a tag team. So the fact that they're all here on uh, one comp, and I, from what I remember, I love these guys as a team. Uh, could be wrong, but that from what I remember, I love these guys as a team. So to get them all in one comp for four bucks, definitely had to get uh, get that. Lockdown 2010. I don't remember a lot of reasons why I got this show. I remember the Kurt Angle Anderson match I liked up until the ending, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, it was a team, yeah, Team Hogan versus Team Flair. That was pretty fun. Um, Eric Young versus Kevin Nash. Oh wow, yeah, I'm gonna have fun. Oh my God, the band versus Team 3D. Uh, I'm gonna stop right there. But yeah, I know some of these shows are bad, but for for whatever reason, I got them. Like this one, Bound for Glory 2010. This guy went in the show as a face, came out as a heel. This guy came in the show as a face, went out as a heel. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, all became immortal. <laughs> this is a train wreck, but I have to have it because of how I remember everybody went nuts on the internet, like in a bad way. They flipped out when this show ended, so I had to get that show. And then, last but not least, the show I attended last year, my first TNA show ever, Bound for Glory 2012. And I I started looking at the cover because I thought it was like a like a cheap copy, but no, it's legit photo paper. Um, this is a very fun show live. I haven't watched it on DVD, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this to see how it came off on TV. Um, but yeah, 
it's my first show, so I had to pick this one up, and uh, hey, can't beat it for four dollars. So I got all of these DVDs for like forty-two dollars, I think it was. It's not bad. Uh, I think Steve said it best in his video that um, one day these guys may go out of business, they get they may get bought out, but these DVDs may not be so cheap and so easy to get sometime later when you may want them for whatever purpose they may be. Uh, they may not get them. Look at ROH. Now that they got bought out by Sinclair, uh, or you know, they're, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, their DVDs are a lot more expensive. Their sales are not as common. And when they do have sales, they're not as good as they were before. So, you know, that's definitely something to uh, take into consideration. But, um, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you guys for watching.